Hello everyone, Debo to here here with another video. Today we have the 75342 Republic Fighter Tank. And this set retails for $40 in the United States and is available at all your normal Lego stores, including the Lego store itself. Let's dive in a little deeper and take a better look at the set, starting with the minifigs. I just want to interrupt this review real quick to tell you about our giveaway. Um, when we hit 1,000 subscribers on this channel, we're going to give away um, what I am calling the ultimate clone Lego uh, pack here. So um, what we're going to be giving away is a 501st battle pack, a Republic fighter tank, and the clone minifigure pack. So all this will be um, given away to a single person that I will do a video on live to show you all um, who won the pack, but it will go to one of my first 1,000 subscribers. So this is trying to get us up to 1,000 subscribers. Up first, we have the 187th Legion clone trooper. This is a very nice minifigure. It is, I just absolutely love the color. Look at that purple. It just really pops. It's very shiny. This is a great figure. No uh, leg printing or sidearm printing, but there is back printing, which looks really nice as well. And only one face on all three of these guys. Next up, we have the 187th Legion Clone Commander. Again, just an amazing minifigure here. Uh, it's really crazy that LEGO didn't make these. Um, the purple is just really pops. It's really excellent. This is a great minifigure to add to the collection and to build your army with. Up next, we have quite possibly the best Mace Windu figure we've ever seen in LEGO Star Wars. This is a um, Clone, World, Clone Wars style minifigure. You can tell by the arm printing um, the, of the armor that he wears in the Clone Wars. And overall, this is just a great figure to add to the collection. And we can see that for the first time, the, the lightsaber is frosted instead of uh, clear and see-through as normal. And lastly, we have two regular battle droids. So I'm gonna get into a rating after we take a look at the ship here in a, in a moment, but I think one of the ways that LEGO could have made this a 10 out of 10 set is just adding um, maybe a battle droid commander, um, just to add a little bit of difference, or really a super battle droid would have been a really nice addition here. Okay, and that leaves us with the Republic fighter tank itself. I think at first sight, this set was a little alarming. It was a pretty tall in this area and, and pretty uh, flat, and I didn't think it looked that good. But after building it and seeing the new box art, box art after leaks, it's it's a really good representation here. Um, it's got little wheels on the bottom that helps it move, move, and a couple of play features here, like the ramp in the back that opens up. You can store a minifigure in there, as well as this top hatch opens up, and that's where you can place your um, commander up here to check out and scout for on incoming battle droids but overall this is a good set it's got um, spring loaded shooters on the side but also regular looking blasters here it's a really fun build process as well um, I really enjoyed it I'm building the Boba's Fett throne room right now and I'm not having such a uh, as much fun with that but here this is a great set for $40 I think you pick it up all day long just if, at, at least for the minifigure selection on its own. I will say it does have a lot of stickers. There's a huge sticker sheet for this set, but because there are such big pieces that you are putting the stickers on, I found that they were quite easy to get straight. And overall, it, you know, the thing looks good. Maybe this could have been a little smaller. It's, it's a little drastic and jutting out in the front. But yeah, I see myself picking up three or four of these. Um, in total but yeah so i'm gonna rate this set a 9 out of 10. so how could it have been a 10 out of 10 like i said earlier if they could have made some a little bit more something going on on the side here i don't know it's just a little too stark of a, of a line going up there that I, I really wish i don't know what they could have done but um to make it just look a little bit better but again 9 out of 10 the only thing that other than that you could do to make this a 10 out of 10 set is to add maybe a super battle droid or a, or a droid commander in the set. But thanks for stopping by everyone. Uh, again, this is a 9 out of 10 for me. Um, and thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. And if you want to look at more interesting LEGO content, please click on one of the links above to check out some of more of my videos. So stay tuned, um, get subscribed, ring the notification bell, 
and look forward to um, learning about this exciting giveaway we're going to have in the future. Till next time. Thanks, guys.